Hispanics are among the group underrepresented in STEM jobs in the United States. Only about 9% of Hispanics are in the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics field. While Laredoan is among that small percentage taking part in a program that is out of this world. Our Liseli Garza has more on his research and journey with NASA. Liseli. Anybody know where's the four planets? This native Laredoan is reaching for the stars and in the classrooms. Roberto Antonio del Bosque took the time off a space project to speak to students at Washington Middle School. He is currently working as a general engineer with the U.S. Army Development Future Command and a Lucy Space Mission volunteer. NASA says the Lucy satellite will be the first mission to explore the Jupiter asteroids. He currently does outreach presentations for students to promote the STEM field. Just try to motivate them by linking something that they know, depending on their, on their age, with uh, some fun facts. According to research done by the Pew Research Center, about 8% of Hispanics are in the STEM field in the United States. Del Bosque is trying to change those stats one presentation at a time. In those presentations, the Lucy Satellite mission is front and center. The Lucy Satellite is a, uh, got launched uh, in 2021. It's going to take uh, 12 years to get to the Trojan asteroid field. Um, and from there, they're going to gather data um, from, the, from the remnants that are there. Trojan asteroid belt is close to the planet Jupiter. Del Bosque says the Lucy satellite will do another flyover in December. This will make it faster before traveling into space. Engineers and scientists are currently working together to get Lucy to explore asteroids. It's it doesn't matter where, where I go, it's just uh, as long as the, the job is, is fun. For KGNS News, I'm Liseli Garza. Thanks, Liseli. Lucy Satellite is supposed to reach the Jupiter Trojan asteroid belt by 2023 if all goes as planned.